Hello everyone, this is Harald Ambos Pissuros, Senior Technical Analyst here at AeronFX uh, Global, bringing you the technical updates for September 26th. Today I would like to describe the technical outlook of uh, GBPUSD, which moved in a consolidative mode on Thursday, remaining marginally above the support line of 160-80, and about Euro Yen, which found support uh, near the 50% retracement level of the 5th until the 19th of September advance. So let's see the sterling dollar currency pair first. Cable moved in a consolidative mode, remaining marginally above the support line of 160.80. A decisive dip uh, below that barrier could confirm that the 9th until the 19th of September up move was just a 38.2% retracement of the decline from the 15th of July until the 9th of September and could trigger extensions towards our next support line of 161.60. Looking at uh, our momentum studies, the RSI remains below its 50 line and is pointing somewhat down, while the MACD already below its trigger obtained a negative sign. This uh, designates that the momentum remains negative and corroborates uh, my view for further declines in the near future. In the bigger picture, the fact that cable remains below the 80-day exponential moving average is an additional reason why I treat the 9th until the 19th of September up move as uh, corrective. Now let's continue our assessment with uh, Euro Yen. Euro Yen tumbled yesterday but found some buy orders near the 138.45 support line and near the 50, also near the 50% retracement level of the 5th until the 19th of September advance. A break above the resistance of 139.20 is likely to confirm a rebound and that the 19th until the 25th of September down wave was just a corrective move. Such a break uh, could uh, pull the trigger for another test near the 140-20 resistance zone. The RSI found support at its uh, 30 line and, and moved higher. While the MACD shows signs of bottoming and could move above its trigger in the close future. These momentum signs increase the possibilities for the aforementioned uh, rebound. In the bigger picture, as long as the pair remains above the upper bound of the downside channel drawn from back at the beginning of April. I would consider the overall picture to be mildly positive. So that's it for today. For more analysis and charts, please read the full comment on ironfx.com. You can also follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Haram Bosbisuros, Senior Technical Analyst at IronFX Global, wishing you solid trading.